Why, hello there! Welcome back to Banished Mega Mod. This is episode number five. I have successfully recovered from our previous crash. Uh, I loaded up an autosave and caught us up to where we are here in early winter. We just finished our mini herbalist up in our uh, up in our mini gathering zone here, uh, and we see we need to add a person to that. So let's take away a builder and let's add uh, let's add the herbalist. Perfect. So I've been noticing with the crashing, it seemed to have to do with uh, trying to open and close a lot of different windows. One of those windows is the slope conforming pasture window. So what I'm gonna do is you can see I have it open over here and I'm just gonna leave it right there. Like I don't even wanna touch it. Um, and I've got my foresting lodge window open as well. Those are the two that I've been, that I check a lot uh, to see how their production's going. And so I'm gonna leave those open. And I'm not gonna click or close or anything this episode. And we'll do a little test here to see if uh, that can cure our crashing blues. We were building a log cabin right here it is yeah definitely want to continue doing that with one person it'll take longer um, but I'm thinking too I might use the priority tool here increase priority tool and boom let's increase that priority and then let's turn the game on let's speed it up a little bit so that things run a little faster I have not updated uh, Mega Mod. There is not an update for Mega Mod yet. So we are still in the same version here. And I'm hoping to finish out the whole series on this version to make life easy for myself. So if I want to start a new series, I can do it on a different version. Because uh, a lot of these alphas and uh, early versions, they just don't have very good uh, save replay support where if you saved in a previous version and you try to load it up in a newer version, it just doesn't work so well. So uh, I'm going to try to get it done with uh, this alpha version here. i get my city to a point where I consider it to be done, right? Banished is a very subjective game and the, the ending of it is very subjective. So like I said in the very first video though, I really want to try to build one of everything. and. Uh, this mega mod pack, since so many of them are new, new content for me, I think it'd be cool to check that out. Here's we have a merchant. Let's see what they have to trade. Smoked chilies. Hmm. You know, I don't even know. I don't even know what smoked chilies are used for. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so really quick, I'm going to pause it so that I can Google this. Smoked chili. Banished. And let's see what, uh see what mod that's for. Oh, so this is a colonial charter thing that I just did not remember. You can make these in the smokehouse. But it, it doesn't appear to be like a good base ingredient for anything. So I don't think we're going to buy any of it. Uh, orders. Right now, I don't even really know. I'm not even really sure what I want to order, so I think for now we're just gonna dismiss. And yeah, we'll just minimize that and throw it back so it's covered up back here. See, I'm trying not to close these windows because I have no idea 
what window will crash me, right? So, let's see here. We are in early spring, so that means it's still very cold, but soon we will enable our crop production. Um, our orchard still is growing, so we don't need to mess with that yet. But I really want to see, though, if we can get this log cabin built first. It would be great if we could, because I'm trying to increase our population here. Banished really relies on having new houses so that more people will move in and have more babies. So I, I want to get at least one house up here. We're also doing really well on food. Yeah, we have 1,600, more than 1,600 save food, so we're not going to starve or anything. And our supply of medicine is building. We got 44 stored medicine, ooh, 53 stored medicine. And once that person hits uh, 100, then they'll come help do the other tasks. Oh, we finally got some mutton from our uh, from our slope conforming pasture here. It's exciting. Add that to our excess food. We're doing pretty well. Our town's prospering. I definitely think. Uh, Definitely think the next thing is going to be a tailor, because our stored clothing is 10. Tailor and tools. Those are both pretty important here. Come on, log cabin. You know you want to build. All right, here we go. Done. Some people will move in there, hopefully. Ooh, and this is one of those you can upgrade to a large log cabin. We're not going to do that yet. Um, let's. How much wheat do we have? Ah, we could use more wheat. Let's. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, enable work on this. Work, and let's add a person. No more building. Now you will be growing. There we go. So now we will keep our eye on the crop field here. We'll start growing that. And let's hope someone moves in this log cabin and has a baby. Because I really... I'm really uh, doing bad on... I need some laborers here. Hmm, looks like a single person moved in with their kid. Alright, well, we'll just see. We'll see where that leads to. <laughs> And now we're just going to speed up because since I don't really have any extra labor to build or do anything, because I don't think I do. Zoom out. Yeah, nothing's at uh, their supply cap yet, so everyone's doing their jobs. Oh, there we go, the chopper is done doing his. So let's go ahead and enable Taylor. Yeah, let's do it. Since now we are down to nine, nine store clothes. Let's try to get this Taylor shop up. There we go. We got a we had a child and we had a new student. So now we have three students, six kids. It's pretty good. All right, let's slow back down here. We are in late summer. It is 73 degrees and dropping. And I'm worried that I think what I'm going to do since we only have one guy on our wheat field is I'm going to disable. Uh, farmer take harvest to storage. So that means he'll just leave all his little wheat bundles out here. And this is a good strategy for when uh, 
you want to be harvesting, but you're afraid that maybe you won't be able to harvest as quickly as uh, as the winter winter comes, as t temperatures drop, and so you don't want to lose your crops, right? You you can save a lot of time by doing it this way. Let's zoom in here, yeah. get a better view on the wheat and on the soon-to-be small tailor, small town tailor. Here we go. So yeah, you can see the guy is already. He already automatically uh, started harvesting, and he's leaving his little bundles. Very good, very good. And other random people, and look, even children are picking these up. Perfect. It's all the people who can live, lend a helping hand in the town. Banished is uh, definitely a community-oriented game. You can see what like what many can do versus what one person can do. Let's get a little philosophical here. And our plum trees are coming in nicely as well. That's uh. In a season or two, these will probably be ready for us to harvest those plums off of. And you know, now that I look at it, since I did condensed orchard, I should have made it one, one row longer, right? So that then we would have had one extra row there. So next time, next time I'll, I'll make it one row longer. I'm gonna measure that out and know that distance. <laughs> Okay, so we're done. Uh, we're done with our crops. Let's disable work and enable building. So hopefully we can get this tailor shop done and get someone in there. Start creating uh, like fabric or clothes or whatever. Let's see. Let's see what we need. And also tools. That's that's gonna be the next thing as well. Yeah. So when, whenever this is done. I'm going to, uh, we're going to hit pause here, and we will figure out where our blacksmith will go and what the tailor is going to make. Alright. Tailor is done. Looks adorable. So we can make, let's see our inventory really fast. We have 66 wool, 25 leather, reeds and feathers. Do we have any feathers? I see reeds, but I don't see any feathers. Oh, I do, 14 feathers, 15 reeds. Wow, we can make a lot of stuff. I guess let's start off with wool, since wool is like, we have sheep, and uh, that's gonna be like our our constant, our go-to, right? All right, let's yeah, let's let that tailor do his thing, and let's uh, check out some blacksmithing buildings. What is that? A not resource production, a refined resource. Then we want not lumber. We want smelting tool, metalworks, old blacksmith. So that's just a regular blacksmith, medieval blacksmith, small town blacksmith, small iron smelter, hardware store, melting house, metalsmith, forge, and I don't know what that one is. You know, we went with the small town, uh, we went with the small town tailor, so I think we're going to go with the small town uh, blacksmith as well. Why not? I love how they fit into these little nooks here, too. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put them right there. Done. And let's make sure to increase priority on them. Increase priority. Boom. And let's speed up time again. So now we got our tailor making clothes, and soon to be we will have our blacksmith making tools. Yeah, we got 40 iron here, 
we'll need some more iron. This is all iron, so that'll be it'll be easy to get iron once that actually uh, is a a thing. But for now, let's just try to get this built. They're building fast this time. Goodness, look at them go. There we go, done. So now we are back to zero. No more builders. Instead we want a blacksmith. Did I hit that? I think this might be glitching out a little bit on us. Hopefully this, uh, I saw an auto save before, so. Uh, blacksmith, there we go. Iron tools, one log, one iron. That sounds great. And let's keep an eye on your production for a little while at least. Down here, I'm clogging up the UI. I'm trying not to. When I play Vanish myself, like without recording, I usually have a full screen of UI windows. But it gets pretty ridiculous. Uh, so I'm, I've been trying to get better about it. It also really slows down the game, I've noticed. At least with the old Colonial Charter 1.6, I would my FPS would go down like crazy if I had too many. Uh, too many windows open with like too large of a population. You know what? We need a we need a pathway right there. Everyone keeps keeps cutting across right here. So yeah, let's just fill in this whole section right there. Since this is like a very main hub, people are turning a lot on this sh this road here. You know, actually, we don't need to keep an eye on this blacksmith because we can keep an eye on our production and our tools production here. So we have produced eight tools. We're still using a lot. Yeah, yeah there we go. Ten tools now. And Twelve clothing. Perfect. Yeah, I love this mega mod. These new buildings are so helpful for starting for early game banished. It, like, really blows things out of the water in terms of being able to get started really fast between the minis and the small towns and all the the smaller buildings that uh, Vanilla Banished doesn't have. I think in the uh, next episode, we're definitely going to need a, a mutton butcher. Since we're producing so much mutton now, the butcher will, will take it and cut it down into smaller slices and give us bone marrow and all this other, or bone tallow, I think. Oh, look, we got another, uh, we got another trader coming up here. I'm almost afraid to hit it since we're at, like, soon to be the end of the episode here. <laughs> I'm like, this is what the game would do to me, I think. They're like... Alright, let's see though. I think I had the window open, yeah, down here. We're out. Here it is. Please don't crash, please don't crash. Wait, can I even... Oh yeah, there we go. Raspberries. Uh, I think we've been getting berries ourselves, right? I don't know the difference between... Oh, we have blueberries. Let's see. Items in storage, sort by quantity. Yeah, we could go ahead and trade them wheat. 250 wheat for uh, 250 raspberries. That sounds like a good, good trade, right? But I'm not going to do it on this one. I am going to save that for the next episode. I'm so happy that we did not crash on this one. Cross fingers, everything goes well. And... Uh, yeah, this, these last like a couple seconds here. But thanks so much for uh, for watching. I really enjoy it. I love uh, playing Banish and recording these videos, and uh, I hope you do as well. So until next time, I will see you later.